Hello, welcome back. Um, so, I said that this episode was going to be more optimization, but I lied. Turns out we don't need any more. Uh, the optimization for um, uh, the mesh collider used to be incredibly slow, but it looks like in the last version or two, um, they fixed it. Because now it takes less than 50 milliseconds, even on very, very, very large chunks. So, thank you to the Unity team for whatever they did to fix it. Uh, the main slowdown now you will find if you actually clock this stuff is the uh, the noise field. Uh, that is what takes the most amount of time. On the other hand, the noise field is something that you can make asynchronous if you would like to. Um, so if you wanted to do that, you could move the asynchronicity to the map calculation rather than to just the mesh calculation. Um, but that's up to you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, don't really care. Uh, <laughs> so you guys are welcome to, to experiment with that as you'd like. And instead what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to make it so that we have different kinds of blocks. Now my blocks are all space blocks because my game takes place in space. So I'm afraid that they're just different kinds of gray. <laughs> but the same philosophy holds true whether you're talking about this kind of boring block or more exciting blocks. And in the long run, we're going to include lots of exciting block types, uh, like chunks of building. So let's go ahead and do that for right now. We're going to go over here into chunk. And up here, we calculate out the brick here and get theoretical byte. We say brick equals one, and then we never change it. We're going to do a couple of very simple things. Um, we're going to say that if mountain value equals zero, then brick equals three. Three happens to be the dark uh, slate sort of color. So now when we hit play, why is it taking so long to load? That was odd. Did we, we actually ran out of vertexes? Why? That's not possible. I mean, it's literally not possible. I don't understand what happened there. Did did changing the chunk... Did changing this to brick equals 3 somehow make it so that it... That, that can't... That doesn't make any sense. That has to have just been bad luck. What? What the hell? <laughs> In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, we're getting vertexes over sixty-five thousand, um, but only when I say that the brick type has changed. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Any brick type that isn't brick type 1 counts as transparent. I forgot about that. Alright, so let's go back down into the is transparent. There we go. Uh, we say case 0 and case, zero, case default return true. We actually want default to be on this one. There we go. Uh, no, wait. Oh yes, that's true. That's correct. There we go. That was weird. Very creepy. Alright, so let's take a look. Let's try, try that again, because we didn't have anything at ground level that time. There we are. Um, so you can see that we've got this kind of slaty color to our bricks now. But if we were to wander, we should find areas where that's not the case. Um, mountain can't equal zero all the time, can it? I don't understand what's going on. Why does... Oh, there we are. Um, so it appears that our basic formula for putting in slate... Uh, sort of malfunctions. So what we actually want to do is we want to make it so that it's slate only when all of them are zero. Um, so that includes this one here as well. So let's go ahead and calculate that. Uh, hmm. It happens in two different places.
There we go. All right, and that ought to make it a little bit more. Yeah, there we are. That's what I wanted. Um, so we've got this kind of slate color in most of these places, uh, and then we've got a couple of places where it's not in slate, and that is exactly what I was hoping for. All right, so the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to make it so that the places that aren't slate aren't always the same brick. So to do that, we're going to use the remaining offset, offset 2, which we're not currently using. We have a lot of options for how low we want to go with this. Uh, let's go ahead and take it down to point, oh, point 0.2. There we are. There we go. And I'm just kind of hard coding these at the moment. Later on, I'll I'll do something more interesting with them, I guess. Ah. So you can see that now we've got a couple of different kinds of terrain. Now this is just very very basic. Um, in reality, this is where you'd probably start using brushes if you wanted to dabble back into those, because most of the time you want specific formations that reflect the nature of the bricks in question. Uh, so uh, right now, for example, they're just kind of arbitrarily clustered, and you'd actually want them to be uh, significantly more um, carefully laid out, especially if they were things like gold or water which follow very particular rules as to how they should be laid out. But that's the very basics, and um, I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, if you're having severe slowdown, um, there's probably something wrong with your face culling. Uh, so you should look into that and maybe compare it to my project. Of course, if my project runs as slowly on your machine as your project, then maybe we do have to do some optimization or something. Anyhow, this has been a slow episode, but I hope it was worth it.